name is Lawrence Dennis. I'm the owner of ATI. I'm also a partner in VR drones, and my job has been to basically build a drone that can fly VR cameras, where the drone will fly in a behavior that's ideal for what most pilots want out of a drone. And two, we get footage that is not needing to be, uh, you know, stabilized in post. Um, for either vibration and or movement of the camera. It started out in the early days in like 2010 with uh, immersive media and we we got the bug for VR and drones then and um, ever since then we've tried you know all kinds of different ways of mounting these cameras on an aircraft that give us the resolution and the quality you know that's you know, not going to be just your simple off-the-shelf drone with a, you know, a small little, you know, VR camera stuck to it. We're up here in the Mount Hood National Forest flying the VR drone and kind of testing it out and taking it for a spin, so to speak. And basically, it's a three-axis in-air stabilized gimbal system, an aerial system. And it can take two cameras. It has a vertical pole that runs through the VR drone and we put a VR camera on the bottom of that pole and up top of the pole. And then as the drone flies and banks, the vertical pole stays vertical and the vibration is minimal. And then we're able to take those two VR cameras and combine them. advantageous about the VR drone specifically in its design is that because it's balanced the drone doesn't actually have to fight with the weight of VR cameras that are that are hanging balanced perfectly above and below it um, so we're able to get longer flight times um, we're able to get smooth footage that has very very minimal vibration I just flew the VR drone for the first time right there behind me with the two Instar 3 Pro 2 top and bottom uh, on the ocean. Uh, I have to say it's pretty nerve-wracking uh, for the first time flying such an expensive drone myself but surprisingly the control is very smooth with this professional controller right here. Uh, it's not like flying a DJI drone. Uh, it's, it's more responsive, more smooth even we have a little wind in the ocean, uh, it still flies really good. So I think if you know how to fly a regular drone, uh, I think it will be pretty easy to get your hands on for this drone as well. Uh, as long as you do all the pre-fly check, pre-production, make sure that everything is ready to go, nothing is wrong. Uh, the camera is rolling and synced together and, and flying the drone is the easiest part. And I think that this is the only drone give us very smooth 3D stereoscopic video in 8K high resolution and we can fly literally anywhere. Uh, you don't need to worry about removing the drone, but the drone is gone already. And we can even film the seagull uh, and film everything in close-up detail and that's pretty epic. Today we are in the Tillamook Air Museum and we just launched the VR drone. The reason we would recommend and the reason that I would use this drone over the, over the traditional 
methods that VR filmmakers use are a couple of reasons. One is there's a lot of things that are really nice about this drone. In fact, that one, it has landing gear, so you don't have to hand launch. You don't have to build one of those stands that you can rest the drone on so that it can take off. Um, you don't have the pendulum effect. Flying a traditional drone with a camera hanging underneath it, those drones are built to have a standard size gimbal underneath. That's the way that they're built. That's the way that they're balanced. Whereas this drone was specifically designed to carry dual payloads. And then the other reason I think that this is really nice is going back to the camera on top, right? This drone allows you to fly below tree levels. It allows you to fly low where you have things overhead because you're recording dual hemispheres that are allowing you to have unobstructed views of what's above and what's below. And so if you've got a really interesting shot where you have tree cover over you, being able to clone that out normally just doesn't happen, right? It's a lot of work and it's really difficult to do. Whereas this, you can just fly it, right? You've got your camera above, a camera below, and you've got really great footage coming from both cameras to utilize and just get a better quality picture. Plus stability, right? Um, you don't have the issues with the vibration and the movement of the cameras that you get with your traditional drone. It's just a very steady, simple shot.